Timothy in Georgia, the state, as he writes, not the country. <laughs> Timothy writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I'd like to add a subwoofer to my two-channel system, but my tube amplifier does not have a subwoofer out. Would it be possible to use a bi-wire speaker cable from the amplifier that connected to both the high-level input on a subwoofer and a pair of speakers? Would this present any risk to the tube amplifier? Yes and no. Yes, you can do that, and no, there's no risk to the amplifier. Simple question, simple answer. And I've been preaching this for quite a while. As many of you know, I very much like to have the sound of the power amplifier. It, now, in Tim's thing, he's got a, a vacuum tube, right? Vacuum tube power amplifiers have a sound to them. That's why people play vacuum tube power amplifiers. It's why we put a vacuum tube on the input of a power amplifier, because we liked the way it, it sounded. We liked the way that it warmed up and romanticized the music on a BHK amplifier, right? That sonic signature that you're hearing, I want it passed on to the subwoofer. And the only way to do that is to take the loudspeaker output of the power amplifier and put it into the high-level input of the subwoofer. Now, a lot of people don't like doing that. They want to use the sub out, which I do not recommend. We are working on our own subwoofer here at PS Audio, and we are going to include a low-level input just like, <clears throat> just like everybody else has, but we're doing it out of convention and not out of preference. So our preference is always going to be high-level input. So you want to be able to take the output of your power amplifier and put it into your, uh, your subwoofer if you can. And that's not always practical, but in this case, it's a good idea and no, it won't hurt anything so I think you ought to go for it, all right? Quick answer, and let us know how it goes. Thanks for the question. Bye.